Hey there, everybody. I uh, just wanted to go through a few of the things I put up on Shapeways. Mainly, I've been working on these these chest pieces for these uh, power suits. This one is the the power suit that came with Springer, but I guess these mods will pretty much work with any any of the Dia battles with these the original style. What do you call this? Body, <laughs> the original body. So yeah, they're they're pretty easy to do. Just okay. So I have a whole bunch of these figures with the same exact same exact mold, and after a while, I'm like, oh, that's too many of the same mold, and I like to have a little bit of variation. So first thing you do to install these is you uh you got to pop off these uh the pin. There's a pin. There's a pin right here, and. You basically just have to pop that out, and on the Mech Fan Toys ones, at least, I haven't tried it on the Dia Battles ones, but on on the Mech Fan Toys ones, they they're not like they don't have a super strong, they're not super melted, like the plastic is not super bound to the the pin, so you can actually just push it right out. And the trick is to look for the one that sticks out more flat to the uh, to the body. The one that's more flat to the body is actually the one where the grip is, where it's been been. Uh, like meshed together or melted together and that's the part with the tight part so you want to actually push that one out that side out and you want to you want to like push that one out first because if you pull the 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 grippy part it's got like a grippy thing on the side of it textured into it if you uh if you try to push that all the way through not only will it take a really long time but it'll really jack up the inside of the the tubing or the the, the connect the pipe the whatever this is called the thing so yeah, anyways, you can so you want to find the one that's pushed in more. The one that's pushed in more is the one that you're going to want to want to push from. That's the side you're going to want to push from. And you just kind of just kind of see if I can get a picture of that. Just kind of push into it, and as you push, you see it's like slowly coming out. There you go. Done. Well, not completely. So I should probably um, preface this with tools you'll need. Um, I'm using a star-shaped screwdriver tip that's smaller than the barrel of the than the diameter of the uh, pin. Um, I've got pliers, and I've got a screwdriver, a regular T-shaped screwdriver tip. But uh, that's not really necessary for this stuff. That's for the arms later. But anyways, um, then once I get it slid out mostly, I just kind of twist it. Ah, grab onto the grippy part. Get rid of the grippy part. Kind of like a, it's got kind of like a textured thing on it. But anyways, um, I grip onto that and I just kind of twist until it comes out. You can remove the arms to do this step. That's what the other screwdriver head is for. But really, it's not necessary. Once you get the pin out there, and then you've got, you can just pop it right off. It's just that's all it's holding that on. Feasibly, if you wanted to dismantle the whole thing at this point, you could. There's two screws on the side. Uh, one there and one there. You could dismantle the whole thing, but I haven't gotten around to any builds that require that. So the first little, the first torso piece I want to show off is this one. It's just like a really plain thing, and I, I added the thing on Shapeways where you can like edit it and add stuff. But yeah, there you go. It's kind of a, kind of like the look for that guy. And, uh, to reinstall or to put them back together, you just put the pin back in the way you popped it out. So I usually double check where's the grip. There's usually some like grip markings inside the inside there. Can't really see it, but um, from my angle, I can see it. There's not any grip markings on this side. So this is the side it goes back into. In case you forget which side was which. Yep, see it slides right in. And then I usually just set the pliers to the wider, the wider setting and just kind of push it back in like that so there you go and then it's hinged and it goes up just like normal you can put a guy inside pilot dianot whatever you want to call it works just like the original only the plastic's a little bit different because it's like more soft feeling but yeah that's that so that's the first one that's how you install them all of them install the same way i won't install all of them that way and then to get it back out, you just kind of kind of leverage it, push until it comes out. Sometimes these 
the, the softer plastic on these, uh, the 3D printed stuff, it uh, kind of like bends, whereas this is like more hard. If you had the clear, if you're using the clear plastic, the clear frosted ultra detail or whatever they call it now, you'd, you'd have to worry about shattering because it's way higher hardness than this. This is more softer, lower hardness. And just same thing as last time, just twist and pull. Actually came out easier than on the original one. So that's that. That is the first one. I've made three or four of these. I'm still working on a couple. A couple different ones. But yeah, so and then this is the uh this is the Titan Master one. You can put it it has a Titan Titan Master face port on it. And so to install that, I'll go through that, and that's actually part of what the screwdriver the other screwdriver bit is for. You gotta use the uh regular bit for that to get the Titan Master. Now, not all the Titan Masters have this, but most of them have a screw. Most of them have a screw, but uh, some of them have a rivet now, and I don't know. I haven't tried disassembling the ones with rivets. So for this, I just unscrew the uh, the thing. Julie, the thing. Anyways, you just, you know, it's got a hole for the thing and the thing and the hole, and there's a pin that makes it so it doesn't rotate. You just pop it on there. There you go. Nice. And then there's a screw hole in the back. You can just put it right into the screw hole. Screw it right back in. Put it right in there. And screw it all the way in until it doesn't want to screw anymore. There you go. Got yourself a uh, shuffler power suit or any type master face plate thing. I think that I, I picked that face because it looks pretty stylish and I went with these little like I tried to go with like a transformer looking logo type of thing with the shape. So then it's got the, the you can put the faceplate on there and it looks pretty stylish. I'm a big fan. I really like this one. I think it looks really good. And I mean you can use any any of the faceplates off of like Shapeways or wherever or actual things. I mean I feel like everybody has like if you if you've done any Titans return stuff and you've done any of the customs, you have extra face plates floating around. So it's like not so uh not so hard to find a face plate. That's that one. I didn't put the pin in, but the pin goes in the same way. Swings up and everything, still opens. And then the last one is like the more this is a more comprehensive thing that I've been working on. And it's got the uh it's the pugilist or like pug suit. Ha 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 pug suit, get it? Okay. I was gonna do an extra face plate for the top so there's actually a hole. And I actually have a prototype up for that, but I haven't put it up on Shapeways. There's actually a pinhole on the top where you can put a head on it and then it transforms to like this mode. I'll show you in a minute. Transform to this mode and you can put the head on it. But I mean that's kinda goofy. So I kind of like not sure if I'm gonna put that up for sale. But I have it on mine, so yeah. I thought it was cool because it has like a pug mode in you then to see this the guy can but the the diaclone driver can sit in there when it's I'll show you in a minute it's 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 all very convoluted anyways uh so here's the arm the arm actually comes in three parts four parts four parts it's got the little the little what's it called I try to make it look like a um like a mix of like a pug paw with a like a cartoon pug paw with a like one of those dividers on the freeway mixed with Rock'em Sock'em Robots. So I wanted it to be able thing. to do this weird fist pug thing. Yeah, so I came up with that. I made the hand, the little fist thing, and I've got, you know, and then I made the whole arm of it. So the arm's got like this detailed, like, computeristic, computer futuristic looking, computeristic, computeristic, futuristic computer looking thing going on. And then, you know, elbow joint and forearm. And the forearm has a three millimeter pin. Originally, I designed it so that it had the the pin for these hands, but the um, the hands were getting all like twisted weird from being in there, so I ended up you know scratching that. And I did have a version of these that clipped into here instead of the uh, not not in there um, in the uh, in for the this this thing here. The hands actually have a three point five millimeter size, and I had created I had done a a couple where 
you could actually pin it into here, but I was having, pro like I said, I've had problems with the, uh, this thing twisting and getting all frayed. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stick with that. So I switched to a three millimeter pit, three millimeter peg only. And so there's just a three millimeter peg with like a 3.5 millimeter lip inside. So you can just put the hands in and it just kind of stays on. So for the hands, you got to take off the shoulder, which there's only one screw on the shoulder. There's only one screw on the shoulder and you just, you know, go in there and It's probably the wrong shoulder to use because I've dismantled the shoulder like when I did all the prototypes or dismantled the shoulder like maybe like 20 times. Probably not the oh, I don't need the screw. Probably not the best one to use for this um, since it's you know been abused and probably doesn't it's probably not as tight as it once was. I mean you can see I actually stripped the screw on it so it actually has like pieces of the inside threads coming out. So probably not the best one, probably will not show exactly what I'm trying to show. It will be tight enough, but it just maybe not like ideal. So you just remove the screw and then this this is designed to fit right on there. It's just the exact same thing. Uh, that's an F for final. <laughs> I, put, I put final on all of my uh, on all of my things so I know that it's the the, the final version. Not all of this is actually the final version. I have I ha have the final Everything's final except for the um, the elbow slash upper arm, so that's not that's going to screw forever because I totally obliterated it from tightening and loosening it too many times. So this is not the final version. This is actually the, the new version actually has a thicker thing there because I I was worried about it breaking, so I actually came back and that trim piece there is thicker now. I was worried about it breaking, so I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to thicken that up. But everything else is the same. So that's that. It uh, goes like that. You just clip this in. It's got the standard like T-shaped joint. And then this is all finalized. Actually, no. The final version of this has an elbow pad. I had an elbow pad because I was worried that this would fray. So I didn't want that to fray. This little lip here. So that's been upgraded. So there. That's the uh, boxing arm. I actually have two of them, but I'm just going to show one for now. So you just kind of pop it together. It actually has... This has... Uh, the little bumps so it can slide in and this has friction ridges on the bottom and these are bubbled to to fit and then you can just click it in and it actually clicks into place and the everything's like locks into the positions like you'd want it to and this is nice and snug the arm turns swivels here and here and then you've got the wrist but anyway so what i was saying was i was going to do a pug thing and i had like i even came up with like a pug what do you call it like face topper thing that also turned into a jetpack, which in hindsight was kind of goofy, but I was like, you know what, if I'm going to go with this pug gimmick, I'm going to go all the way with the gimmick and, you know, might as well do everything. So it turns into a pug. <laughs> you turn the arms backward, you can turn the fist like however you want, then you turn the feet like that and that, and it turns into like a, like a walking robot kind of thing like that. See, and then it had the pug head. I don't know where it is, actually. Here's one of the prototypes, actually. Here's the prototype pug head. You got the pug head. That was an inside pug joke. The newest version actually comes a little bit lower. It goes actually right here. It's like lower. Oh, it's, it's like that. But this is the only one I could find right now off the top of my head. And actually, um, the pin's broken on this one because it's... it's test molds. This goes on the back. It actually pins in, but I don't know if I'm actually going to release that to Shapeways. Um, it was just something fun. So I might be the only person who has one of those. Uh, has the uh, full pug experience going on. So when you have the head on there, you can actually put the pilots in here and they can ride on the back, like battle pug style. Ah, don't fall out. So it's, it's got like a battle pug alternate mode, which I thought was pretty cool. And this is like, you know, they can use these to like defend the base. Obviously, I would have the correct arm. This is not the correct arm for this type of thing. But yeah, so that's what I came up with. I'm pretty pretty happy with it. Um, I think it's really cool. I was gonna do more with this uh, aesthetic, um, maybe different chests with the little port where you can plug them in, and then that turns into the backpack afterward. The plug head, just for reference, has three millimeter pegs everywhere, so you can add guns to it and turn it into like basically like a walking death machine. So I might come up with something similar to that. But for now, this is what's available is just this version with the uh, 
the normal arms and everything. And then, you know, the two other chest pieces. Oh, we got the uh, super big boxing arm. Yes. So he's saying, he's saying yes. And then we've got, you know, this chest, the regular upgrade chest with the with the customizable thing. You can put your own image or whatever. And then this one, which also has the customizable image. I figured people would want to put like a Decepticon or a or a Autobot logo or Insecticon or whatever other Transformer Con robot names that exist. Anyway, so yeah, that's how that works. You can uh, mod out your guy, give him more power arms. I'm going to come up with more attachments in the future, different shoulders. I also have a different shoulder coming up that's more rounded. And then I have... Um, different forearm attachments and I probably should add maybe I'll add like some ports maybe I'll make like a utility arm that has a million three millimeter ports on it I also have this forearm I also did it in uh, four and five millimeter but I haven't uploaded those yet so I have all the potential arms and oh one thing this is a hole all the way through the back so you don't have to worry about that thing where the air like pushes against it and the air like pressure builds up and it strains the plastic or whatever I've been making sure to put the uh, holes all the way through so that you don't have the air back up. I also made a version of this that can use the uh, four rooter pinchers. So it's like a, I think that is actually, the, that's the five millimeter port. The five millimeter port hand has that. So you can use like the the Wargon rockets that I put up there a while back. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed my little run through of my, my recent stuff I've been coming up with. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.